A good example can clear half of the concept. Hello and welcome back. My name is Afzal and you're watching Flutter Fire series. In the last video, we have seen how to do environment setup for Firebase and Flutter Fire. In this video, we'll see a basic example for CRUD operation using Flutter Firestore. Now the example I have taken is very simple. It is just a basket of items. So you can think of it like as a grocery shopping list. And what you can do with that is you can add items to shopping list and remove it, update it, delete it and all sort of operation. So that we are going to do in the later videos. But in this particular video, we will see how to design a list view for this basket, of course. And then we will add some content to it and here what I'm doing is basically linking our newly created page with the existing home page. So first of all, home page will open and then you will be navigating to the basket page. And I have used a simple inbuilt Flutter navigation system. If you want, you can use get mechanism, which is very easy. You don't have to write this, uh, you know, multiple lines of code. You can just uh, do it in one line. So that is just a personal preference. Uh, you can choose whatever you like. And let's go ahead and run this uh, project and see what we have and of course I'm not going to take the same time it took me for recording so I'm going to fast forward to the point where we get this error now this error uh, I just wanted to show you and you will face the same error in iOS as well that it will show you some incompatibility with the version of project you have with the Firebase so what you have to do is go to the specific project and uh, crank up the value of SDK version or compile version, whatever, uh, depending on the error, whatever you're getting, you have to match that version of the SDK. So at the time I'm recording this video, the minimum SDK version should be something uh, more than 21. So I am keeping the lowest possible 21 as a minimum SDK version and target SDK version. I'm going to change it to 31. Now you will say, why don't you modify the flutter target SDK version? You go to that file and modify because, uh, I don't want to apply that setting for all of my flutter projects specifically for this project 21 is the lowest minimum SDK version and maybe for other project it is something else so it totally differs project to project that's why I'm keeping it in the local in the same file all right now let's go ahead and give this application a run one more time and let's see what happens and also a reminder that if you're running on iOS you have to do some kind of setup or variable change or version change there as well so now our application is up and running if we click on go to basket we should see something like this because we don't have any of the widget it's just a simple scaffold so now quickly i'm going to add a body and it will be a just simple list view inside the body nothing else as of now if you are a complete beginner inside flutter you can go ahead and watch this tutorial where i have explained in detail about list view and different type of constructor it have and if you have ever worked with list view you know that it gives you the parameter context and index to build each item and you just have to return what each item looks like and you have something inbuilt called list tile where you get title subtitle which is kind of a description and then leading icon trailing icon and all those things are pre-made you just have to define how many items are there in the list and define how your title and subtitle uh, what what is your actual content of the title and subtitle and it is done it's that simple with list view now this is it for ui demo in the next part we will see how to fetch data from firebase and show it inside a list view so make sure to subscribe the channel and write down your feedback in the comment section how you're liking this firebase series if you have any comment if you have any feedback let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next one